Hello everybody, I am Molde West, and this is Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order once again. And if you've been following this series, you'll notice that this is not exactly where I had left off. That's because, exactly one week ago, I was recording this. I made it up to this point, and then I went to stop recording the episode... And then the screen just went black, and I had no idea what happened. Apparently, my graphics card had blown out, and that might have messed with the file, because I tried to load up that recording, and the the video was just broken. It, it would not work. So that footage is lost, unfortunately. All you missed was me just... Fighting a few goats and making my way into this ancient tomb. That is a bit unfortunate. But my computer has been fixed after a week and now I can get back to recording and start by blowing this ball around. That's what we're doing on this day. We're blowing some balls around. And can't really use the force on it because I ain't got that force ability yet. Uh, the people down at the shop that fixed my computer, they told me that something went wrong inside the graphics card and they wanted to see if they could fix it, which apparently they couldn't. Which was unfortunate, but they tell me that the graphics card they replaced mine with is better and I missed that rope. How unfortunate! About as unfortunate as my computer blowing out on me last week. And so far I don't see any frame rate issues like I'd been having with the old one. So perhaps they were not lying to me. And I'll just take this. Yeah, you get all up in there and give me all that good stuff. And now you're going to scan this big thing. Tell me what it is. Wind chimes. Them's some big ass chimes. You're gonna need some big ass wind if you're gonna be blowing them chimes. But anyway, I would like to apologize for the big gap in uploads I've had for this channel. No one is more frustrated about that than I am. That is the first time I had missed an upload since Dark Souls 3 got released. And that was a thing that I was very proud of, keeping an upload going on for all them years, every day. But there's always things that you can't account for. And, uh... My old computer is just sitting right over there. I am just now remembering that I kept... My old computer for that exact purpose. What the fuck is wrong with me? But that's in the past. I made mistakes, and I am stupid, and that is all. And that's a skungus. It's a big old cactus like thing that likes to explode. Look at it exploding all slowy. That's right, you little rat bastard. You get poked to death by that skungus. And you ain't getting none of my face. Not this day or any other day. Because you is dead. And we got some Jedi adventures that we're doing. Gotta count for the wind when you're making those jumps. They got that wind there blowing you left and right and making things a big pain in the royalty of your dick. And look over here. There's a door, but it's all blocked. Get out of my way, skungus! There we go. Blow up that door and I gonna sleep. Sleep soundly. And as for the skills... Right. I learned all the available skills already. But that's no reason that I can't rest here and get my energy back and heal myself from my stupidity with the falling down. And now, just balance your way across the rail. We'll flip this thing and there it goes. Because the lightsaber can't solve everything. No, you can't solve everything with a lightsaber because that would be... Okay, I'm exploding now. 
fuck you, Skungus. Why you wait until I'm running to go popping up like that again? Hurry up, you skungusy bastard, you skunkiest of all the skungus popping up beneath my feet like that. How rude. And now, we got you to deal with. Thanks for hurting yourself real bad like that. That makes things a lot easier for me. And I'm gonna need to jab myself in the arm. Why are you doing this thing with the glowy balls and the hurt hurt? Ow! He kicked me! That's very rude of you to go kicking a man like that. Okay, there you go. I'm not used to having your stomp all slowed down. But it ain't matter none. There we go. Now I gotta get... Okay, I got a boot to the face. And I'm pretty sure he was just about to step on my head. That too is very bad. You ain't kicking me this time, but that stomp is not okay. No, sir, I do not want none. No to the stomp, no to your face. There. Okay, thanks for blowing yourself up. I can deal with that. I will take that and call it a win. And that tomb guardian ain't nothing no more because it's dead and I can't get in there. And this skungus is too far away to go blowing that door open. Or is it? Blow it up! Damn. It is too far away. I won't be able to do that until I have a new ability. Oh, oh, no. Get up there. Cannot be doing things the wrong way or else you will die. You see that? That's the sort of thing that makes you die if you ain't doing it right. Now you better do it right this time, little Cal Kestis. You fucking suck at this. I know that's on me, but I'm gonna blame you and that's gonna make me feel better. So I'm gonna go this way then, because that's the way I was supposed to be going and I was doing it wrong, and that's your fault, Cal, not mine, yours. Everything is your fault. And don't you dare go trying to blame that on me. There we go. Suck it, stalag mites. That's right. I was told a long time ago by somebody how to tell them apart. The stalactites cling tight to the ceiling. The stalagmites might poke you in the ass. That is how you remember them. Now, with them ancient statues all scanned, they can't stop me from doing anything. I scan you and then you are weak. You are will bend to my will. And I'm just gonna touch you. And he broke it. You broke it, Cal. Why you go breaking things? If you go breaking everything, then you gonna be bad at everything. I'm going for you and it's throwing itself at me. Classic defense mechanism. That's right, you big door. Throw your shit at me. I can dodge it or not. I can fail to dodge it. That too is in my skill set. Focus. I wanna focus. That I do not seek aggression, but we stand against it. Is that so? Is there to shield us. The obstacles in your path define the path. What stands in the way becomes the way. Okay. Now, try again. I'll try whatever I wanna try. There, you got pushed. Push that ball. Hurry up with that ball. I want to try it again and you being too slow. Bam! Faster now. I am going faster. You move faster, you slow ass master, you. Master my fucking ball bag! There you go. It stands in the way, it comes the way. Good. I got that now. And now I'm heading backward. Seems like a stupid idea, and it probably is, but there are things I want to do now that I couldn't do before due to my lack of ability. Now. Which way did I come in from? Uh, where? Not that way. Where was it that I fought that big old tomb guardian? I know it was around somewhere. I don't think it was. Wait, I squeezed through a little hole in the wall. That's what it was. That's what it was. Found it! And now, Skungus, you will help me whether you like it or not. 
Baba Booey, motherfucker! And I'll take that. That's right, you give me all that goodness all up in my face. More force for me! To the wind. It was destroyed intentionally for some reason. Well, that's unfortunate. In the episode that I recorded last week that is now lost, I found another secret kind of like that with, by solving a puzzle involving these air vents and a big-ass ball that needed to go into a socket. But that is unfortunately lost. I might be able to show you the place that I was talking about on the way out of this tomb, assuming it brings me back that way. And that little stalagmite there was bothering me. Cannot have it bothering me like that. If it bothers me, it'll bother me. And that's just wrong. All sorts of wrongness. And I... Uh... Yeah, I, I can't do this just yet. I need to come around and uh, tackle the problem from a different angle. Per specifically, the angle in this direction. That's what we gotta do, getting all these treasure chests and shit. And there ain't nothing over there. Suck it, you big old block. And you can also suck it. And that's just what we need to move on in this world. I sense your echoes. Your echoes are mine. This guardian was destroyed long ago. Is that so? Well, maybe it had it coming. And you're going to give me that. It's a new thing for my Lloyd Cyber. That's just great. Don't mind the ancient pottery just going to trample it. And I'm going... No, wait. I am going the right way. Thought I was going the wrong way. But I was wrong about the wrong way before it was right. Now, what do we has in here? Where you going, you little shitbag? My friend, take a look at the detail on this bark. Okay. The distinctive striations. Yes. It can only be a rosha tree from Kashyyyk. Kashyyyk, you say? It's time to call on an old friend. If the Zephyr had contact with Kashyyyk, there is a good chance Chieftain Tarful will know about it. Tarful? Perhaps he is full of tar, as his name would suggest. Or maybe not. And that's a big boy! How about that, Biggleston? How dare you try to hit me? No! No stompies! I'd knock your big glowing ball out. You gonna try and stomp again? That ain't stomping. Them's, them's the bad. That is all of the badness up in here. Now, how about you try stomping again? That ain't stomping. Well, I guess it's a method of stomping on my face, and I don't like it. There. You are now fucked. And we're gonna scan this little thing. And was you just dancing there, BD1? L. Ram's sarcophagus. Neat. Now get the fuck out my way. And here we are. Back in this room. And now that I got the forest poosh, I believe that unlocks some... Yeah, healed his connection to the forest. New skills are available. Yay. Give me them new skills. That's some new skills indeed. Like improved stims, make them slightly less useless. That is grand. And I need to rest. And that's why I always rest before getting the new skills, because I always forget to rest after getting the new skills, because I just want to go test them out and not be a big, ugly, stupid head like I always am. But I shall always be the big, ugly, stupid head. Hey, big fella, you want some lightsaber all up in your gonads? Probably you do, but then again, you probably don't. Now, suck on it, you big dead bastard. Having the ability to push their shiny ball out of their chest is a very useful skill. And I don't need you open anymore. 
And I don't want no hints. You don't need to tell me things. Move it, you big ball. You big bally ball. That's right. Move it. You're going to run over that dead tomb guardian. And you can't break that wall because you ain't got enough power behind you. Not enough power even with the force shoving you down the road. But who even cares about that? I was supposed to put that ball right here. I have sent it in the wrong direction. And that is because I am fucking stupid. That's right. Move it, you little shit ball bastard fuck. You get moving, not in that direction. Even though I push you that way, you go this way. Right up in there! And that opens up another thing. It opens up that, it opens up this. And I'm gonna have to push you again because I forgot about this little secret doodad over here. That's right. You move, and now you slow it down, because I don't want you getting there before me. Alright, you can stop being slow now. There we go! That's what I wanted, that's what the doctor ordered, and that's why the doctor gave me a big old treasure chest! Okay. Told me it was full of gold and jewels and everything that leads to a long life of being happy and not dumb. There we are. This relic is extremely old. I sense it was part of some type of training ritual for Zephyr Force users. Well, good for them. People like having extremely old relics now, don't they? I, for one, would be very happy to have an extremely old relic. Something to keep tucked safely betwixt my butt cheeks. I like to keep things up there. It's a very convenient storage place. Now, where am I looking for in here? Climby wall, that is what I'd be looking for. And we're gonna climb this wall till the day we die. And it might be today. You don't know that. You don't know me. You don't know how healthy or unhealthy I might be. I could be very close to dying right now and you would not know it. Move it, ball. Oh, you have no trouble breaking through this thing. But that one, no, that one's a weak-ass ball. It can't break through nothing to save its life. And it don't even have a life! You hear me, you no-life ball bastard over there? You gotta be good about this sort of thing. Having a life and everything. Now come, ball. I need you to hit me in the face. That's right. Uh, there it is. Ow. Good to know these things cannot hurt you. They have accounted for the stupidity that is me. Now move it. There it be. Where the hell you think you going? I don't need you flying away like that. I need to come over here. What you doing? More scanny doos. My friend. Yep. This tomb is utterly fascinating. Well, what makes this tomb utterly fascinating? Aside from the fact you just pointing it out. Bam! Take that, you worthless ass wall bastard. And as for you, you go that way. Got ourselves another ball. Ha ha! And with that, more puzzles can be solved. And would you stop rolling away from me? I only wish to help you. How can I help you if you refuse to be helped? That is what people need to learn. That there are those who wish to help. And I am one of those who help all of the ball. Now come on, you big ball bitch. Are you even rolling at this point? Yes, you are. Come on, bolly boy. I need a ball all up in my balls. There it is went right over my head. I wanted it to hit me right in the big, ugly, stupid face, but that ain't an option now, is it? And now, I'm supposed to be over here. That is the part that I forgot about. And there's the ball, boom! Did it! That's right, you get in there. And that has been solved. Oh yeah. 
And that's how we do it in my neighborhood. Yeah. And with that, I'm all out of time for this episode. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Goodbye.